So hi guys, my old intensity pro 4k started overheating or something like that, it just started randomly disconnecting. So I decided to cover that stuff I didn't cover in my latest video about this capture card, about how you apply this radiator on top of it. I drilled additional semi-holes for these tiny chips over there, and I'm ready to apply thermal compound to place this radiator on top of this capture card. This is a mirror-like chip at the center of the card, and we are going to apply some MX4 thermal paste on top of it. It's not a CPU, we don't need too much. After applying it, I am just gonna spread this thermal compound on top of this chip and get rid of the extra mess. I am getting a really thin layer over there, and at the end I got lots of extra paste on this little cardboard thing. Just gonna throw it away. Now I am going to place this radiator on top of this chip. The thing I didn't really cover in my previous video is this modification to this radiator, this hole on the corner of the radiator to fit in this chip. To get the radiator on top of this capture card, I'll need to hold both of them in my hands and place the radiator so I can see those holders through mounting holes, just like that. But I am unable to fix the radiator with my bare hands, so I'll have to use my knife for it. I'll just apply some pressure to the top of those holders with the back of the knife. Now as you can see one holder is inside the mounting hole. All we need to do is repeat with the second one, it would be a bit easier since it's kinda fixed right now. And again a small pressure and we're done. This radiator holds really tight as I already mentioned in my previous video. And now we must fix our fan on top of it. To do this we can use default mini screws, but they are really tiny and won't hold too good. So I have another thing in my mind. First of all I'll attach this fan to power supply and then I'll have to use a sticky tape that sticks on two sides. That's not any kind of special sticky tape, but it fixes objects really well. So I'll just apply three pieces to my fan, then place it on top of the radiator and apply some pressure to it. Normally the radiator is really cool and I highly doubt that it will cause any problems with overheating. So that's all folks. It works, it spins, it's awesome. Good luck with modding.